The history of Qantas and Cloncurry is closely linked as the town played an important role in the early days of the airline. In fact, Cloncurry is often referred to as the birthplace of Qantas, as it was here that the idea to form an airline originated in 1919. The chance encounter in November 1919 between pastoralist Fergus McMaster and aviator Paul McGuinness in the dry bed of the Cloncurry River was instrumental in the formation of an air service in outback Queensland. A memorial plaque on the eastern bank of the river marks the location today. Fergus had broken the axle of his car as he crossed the river. McGuinness, in repairing the damage, had time to spell out to Fergus his vision for an air service. This led to a meeting in August 1920 at the Gresham Hotel in Brisbane between Fergus McMaster, Paul McGuinness, Hudson Fish, Ainsley Templeton and Alan Campbell. The following year, they formed the Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Service Limited, better known today as Qantas, with the aim of providing regular air services to remote areas of the outback. The first commercial flight by Qantas arrived in Cloncurry on the 3rd of November 1922, carrying its first passenger Alexander Kennedy and the mail from Longreach. The town provided a base for Qantas's operations in the early years with a hangar and a workshop built at the local aerodrome. Qantas's early years in Cloncurry were not without challenges as the airline had to contend with the harsh conditions of the outback and the limited infrastructure. However, the airline persevered and by the mid-1920s had established regular airmail services to regional and remote outback towns and settlements across Queensland and the Northern Territory. Today, Cloncurry is proud of its role in the history of Qantas. The John Flynn Museum features exhibits on the airline's early years including a replica of the original Qantas hangar. <laughs>